lot of Ninja Girls Explore channel. Today we're gonna show you how to make a super cool and really bubbly rainbow bubble snake. Awesome. But first, we're gonna need a few things. We'll be using empty water bottles, dish soap, water, food coloring, bowls, socks, and scissors. Okay, let's get ready. The first thing we're gonna do is make our super neat bubble mixture. To do this, we're going to empty out some of the water from our water bottles and then fill back up with dish soap. Ooh, wait like this. I guess. Here comes the dish soap. Whoa, it just seeps down at the bottom. Wow. wow. The bubbles, once they hit the bottom, they fall back to the top. Yeah, That's look so at all that. Cool. Look at all of it. Now that the soap is in, we're gonna add some pretty food color. I have a pretty pink. I'm going to add a pretty blue. And I'm gonna add a pretty green. Okay. Whoa, what a pretty pink. That's so pretty. Whoa. For the blue. Ooh, that is awesome. Here comes my green. Whoa. Wow. That is so cool. Now it's time to mix it up. Oh, it's like an ocean blue. Ooh. Whoa. That's so cool. The next thing we're gonna do is turn these empty water bottles into a rainbow snake bubble machine. Clean salt. Now we've got everything ready to go, we're going to take our supplies and teleport to the park to test it out. Yes, we're teleporting! Are you ready? Three, two, one. pour them into our bolt and try our bubbles out. Ooh. Okay guys, are you ready for some super fun bubble snakes? Ready? ready. Three, two, one. Whoa. 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 Whoa, they're so shiny. Whoa. See how long we can make the snake. Whoa, look how long this is. Oh, wow, look how long it is. Whoa. Overall, we give these bell snakes a big thumbs up. Okay, bye bye. Thank you for watching our show. Here's your story. Let's begin. We're the Water Adventure Girls. And welcome to the Water Adventure Girls Explore Channel. Today we're gonna show you how to make a super fun and really fluffy cloud science experiment. Awesome. Do that 
Not quite like that, but close. For this size experiment, we're going to need a few things. We'll be using a glass vase, shaving cream, a mixing bowl, a pipe bit, some food coloring, and some water. If you're new to our channel, I'm Angelina. I'm Scarlett. And I'm Annabella. And together, we're the Wild Adventure Girls. To stay up to date with our videos, we love for you to pound the subscribe button, ring that bell, and smash that like button. In under five seconds, do you think they can do it? Heck yeah. But while you guys are doing that, we challenge ourselves to a super sour, toxic waste candy. Yes. Ready? Three, two, one. Ready. Okay, back to the video. Okay, let's get ready. The first thing we're gonna do is fill our face three fourths of the way with water. Awesome. Hey, girls, watch this. Shut down. Whoa. Whoa. The next thing we're gonna do is create a super fun cloud at the top of our face with shaving cream. Oh, yeah, baby, it's gonna be cloud fun. This tool like a nice fluffy cloud. Ooh. Ooh, this looks so good. This is one fluffy cloud. Whoa. Now that our cloud is ready, it's time to make our rainwater. To do this, we're gonna take a small bowl of water and mix it with some pretty blue food coloring. And here comes our food coloring. Whoa, wow. that was so cool. Now we're gonna mix it. Ooh, that's so pretty. It looks just like rainwater. Now it's time to create cloud magic. The way this experiment works is we are going to take our blue rain and add it to our shaving cream cloud to show how clouds hold invisible water vapors. For this experiment, once our cloud is fully filled with rainwater, the cloud will release the rainwater slowly into the base. Awesome! Okay, girls, are you ready to create some rain? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's starting to rain! Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> wow, these clouds are full and heavy with rain. This definitely looks like a thunderstorm. Whoa! Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's oh, it's starting to rain more. Oh my gosh, it's so Whoa. pretty. This is so cool and awesome. Overall, we give this class room a big thumbs up. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for watching our show. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye. Hey, girls, check it out. I'm flying my kite over the clouds. The lightning can't get me now. Wait, what was that? Bella, drop your kite. <coughs> Kids, do not try this at home.
few things. We'll be using water bottles, water, glitter, cyclone tubes, and for fun, some colored lamp oil. If you're new to our channel, I'm Angelina. I'm Scott. And I'm Annabella. And together, we're the Wild Adventure Girls. Okay, let's get ready. The first thing we're gonna do is fill our bottles three-fourths away with water. Next, we're gonna attach our cyclone tube. This is gonna help us connect the two water bottles. Now that our bottles are attached, it's time to make some tornado magic. Oh yeah! We're going to see how the relationship between air pressure and water flow works. Okay, are you ready to create a tornado? Ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! That is so tornado. cool! As the water flows down, the air must flow up creating a super cool swirly tornado-like vortex. Awesome! Whoa! Now for fun, we're going to add some colorful lamp oil to our bottles to make some super neat rainbow tornadoes. We're gonna be making a glitter tornado, a red tornado, a blue tornado, and a green tornado. Okay, ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! Look what should I call it? A glitter nado. Glitter it's so rare, it can never be seen again. Oh, look at the blue tornado! That's so amazing! It looks like a water tornado. Such, yeah, it's such a vibrant blue. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> look at Whoa! the red tornado! Look at that red tornado! That is so beautiful. It's happiness. It looks like lava. It kind of it's does. bubbling on lava the Lava tornado. <laughs> oh, look at the green tornado! It looks like a grass tornado. It looks like a water sprout. Look at that! Whoa. Now it definitely looks like the grass tornado. Instead of green on top, the whole tornado is actually green. Wow. Look at that. It's getting smaller and smaller. Oh, before we give our tornadoes a big thumbs up! Okay, bye bye. Thanks for watching our show. Angelina, now's a good time to wake up. Angelina, now's a good time to wake up. Where are we? Too pretty to die. I was paralyzed by that tornado. Don't judge me, but I am too pretty to die. Close your eyes. Step by step, you Hi, we're the Wild Adventure Girls. And welcome to the Wild Adventure Girls. Explore Channel. Today we're going to show you how to make a super explosive and really fun elephant toothpaste volcano. Awesome! A volcano, hydrogen peroxide, a measuring cup, safety wear, potassium iodine, and red food coloring. The first thing you're gonna do is pour half a cup of peroxide into our measuring cup. Oh yeah! Ooh, it's like a waterfall. Next we're gonna add a few squirts of dish soap. This is going to trap the air bubbles inside our dish soap, giving our volcano an epic eruption. Oh yeah, maybe it's gonna go kaboom. Well, look at this soap just sink down. Next, we're gonna add some super red volcano food color and then mix it up. Comes the food coloring. Ooh, it's like little droplets. 
Well, it was like having its own eruption like that. Wow. I'm gonna mix it. So bubbly. Yeah. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna take our peroxide mixture and pour it into our volcano. And we're gonna pour in our potassium iodine catalyst, which is going to cause an epic eruption. Oh yeah! And I'm gonna try my purple. Whoa! That's so 
cool. Yeah. It feels good to be alive. you gonna need a few things. We'll be using potassium iodide, some food coloring, some fish soap, some hydrogen peroxide, and a science beaker. Okay, let's get ready! First thing we're going to do is pour a hydrogen peroxide into our beaker. But not this kind of peroxide. This time we're using 35% peroxide. But make sure you get your parents' permission. Okay. I can't wait. Time to put on some pretty food coloring. I got pink, I have purple, and I got green. Okay. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of purple. Now we're gonna mix it around. Whoa, that's so cool. That's so green. Now it's time to pour in some dish soap. Awesome. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. Whoa. To pour in our catalyst. This is going to trap the air inside the dish soap and cause a massive reaction. Kaboom! Hey guys, before we pour in the catalyst, we have a challenge for you guys to subscribe to our channel in under five seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and great job, guys! Okay, guys, you ready? Three, two, one. Vinegar, some baking soda, dish soap, red food coloring, some glow in the dark paints, toy lava rocks, a volcano, and a black light. If you don't have a volcano, you can also use a cylinder base. Okay, let's get ready. The first thing we're gonna do is take this cotton ball and plug up our volcano. Cool. Next, we're gonna add some baking soda and some lava rocks for fun. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah. This is gonna be so much fun of once it erupts. Oh, that's so loud. Yeah. We're gonna add some lava rocks. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa Scarlett. Mm -hmm. Next, we're gonna add a super cool glow paint. Okay, I'm gonna add some orange. So, let me just open this. Wow, this is a beautiful color. Oh, that's good. Here you go, Scarlett. Thank you. I'm going to be adding yellow. Ooh. This is a really like bright yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it goes so good with orange. Whoa! Oh, I'm gonna use some pink, and it's a really bright pink mm -hmm. too. Yeah, and then it's gonna make like this like peachy pink. With the volcano. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a lot of pink. Wow. Oh, it is making a bunch of pink. Next, we're gonna take our dish soap and pour it into the container. Cool! This is gonna be so much fun what mm -hmm. it explodes. Whoa, it looks so cool. I'm gonna fill the rest of our container with vinegar. So, oh, it smells! I know. Oh, wow! It 
volcano eruption. Awesome. Not quite like that, but close. To make your own rainbow eruption, you're gonna need a few things. You'll be using a volcano, vinegar, some food coloring, and some baking soda. If you don't have your very own volcano, you can also use a glass vase. If you're new to our channel, I'm Angelina, I'm Scott, and I'm Annabella. And together, we're the Water, Water Adventure Girls. Now stay up to date with our videos. We love for you to pound the subscribe button, ring that bell, and smash that like button. Under five seconds, do you think they can do it? Heck, Heck yeah. yeah. Ready? Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Arrgh. Great job, guys. And make sure you head on over to Instagram and go on any one of our photos. Hashtag Wild Adventure Squad. Let us know that you did it. Do you check the link below to get a free download and sign up for our newsletter to stay up to date with all the Wild Adventure Girl news. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get ready. The first thing I do is fill our volcano with baking soda. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Oh, we can't work. <laughs> you want to get your volcano nice and packed. Now it's time to turn our baking soda into a colorful rainbow. To do this, we're gonna add a few drops of different colors of food coloring. Add some pretty red food coloring. There we go. Add some yellow. I cannot wait to make this eruption. I'm gonna add some blue. What? experiment works is when you mix vinegar and baking soda together, it causes a super cool acid base reaction. Oh yeah, baby, it's gonna go kaboom. Oh yes, you ready for an epic eruption? Woo! Yeah! Ready, three, two, one. Whoa! Green. <gasps> oh, down here looks like a rainbow. Okay, here we go for round two. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Look at all the bright colors. There's oh, blue, there's red, green, green. purple. Whoa. Whoa! There's none on this side and all on that side. That's so cool. Whoa! Ocean. Ooh, now, now it looks like, oh wow. That's so pretty. Oh, there's so much green it's like and green blue. now. And I see a strip of blue, ooh, purple. Oh wow, there's a lot of green. Oh, that's so pretty. And there's some yellow. yellow. It looks like a sunset, but with all these different colors. Look, there's yellow and green over here. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Wow, it looks like a rainbow. Before we give this rainbow volcano a big thumbs up. Let us know on Instagram or our Wild Adventure Girl blog what you thought of this experiment. Okay, bye bye. Thank you for watching our show. Subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. I'm a keeper. into the soda. It's going to cause a massive carbon dioxide reaction. Leaving our carbon no other choice except to explode out of the top of our soda. Oh yeah, baby's gonna go kaboom. To do this, we're gonna use a geyser tube and fill it up with Mentos candy. Okay, let's get ready. The first thing we're gonna do is take our geysers tubes and fill them up with Mentos candies. Oh yeah. If we pull this pin out and let it rip, these Mentos are gonna fall into our soda. Awesome! We're gonna see which soda causes the biggest reaction. Yes! 
gonna be testing Diet Coke. I'm gonna be testing Fanta. And I'm going to test Sprite. Because before we do those, we have a challenge for you guys to pound that subscribe button, ring that bell, and smash that like button. And under five seconds, do you think they can do it? Heck, Heck yeah. yeah. Ready? Five, five four, four, three, two, one. Earth. Great job, guys. And make sure you comment down below hashtag Wild Adventure Squad letting us know that you did it. Are you ready? Three, three two, two, one. the biggest reaction and the Fanta had the least reaction. Okay guys, that was awesome. We're gonna do it again. I have grape soda. I have Coca-Cola. And I have Pepsi. Okay, ready? Three, Three two, one. one. <laughs> oh my gosh! The grape soda hasn't even gone yet. It's doing <laughs> nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. And I'm all gonna do two cokes at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one! Run, Have the biggest reaction. Three, two, one. That was so cool, guys. Looks like some kids have definitely beaten the Coca Cola on this round. Okay, bye bye. Thanks for watching our show. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye bye. Let's go. My pretty green. Whoa. Whoa. Now it's time to mix it up. Now to make it even more fun, I'm gonna add some pretty pink glitter. I'm gonna add some pretty foam balls. And I'm gonna add some squishy Orbeez. Of my pink glitter. Ooh, Whoa. that is so pretty. That is really pretty. Here comes my foam beads. Ooh. Here comes my Orbeez. Ooh. Ooh. 
Now it's time to turn our bottles into a super cool dry ice fountain. Oh yeah! Okay guys, you ready? Three, Three two, two, one. How oh. fast these go? Woo! Are you ready? Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool to play with. Oh, look how fast those Orbeez are moving. Wow, look how fast my glitter is going. Whoa, look at the beads. I'm gonna squeeze it. Woo! Whoa! Oh, this is so much fun! I love how just the dry ice comes out, the Ooh. steam, it's so cool! I'll probably give these dry ice fountains a big thumbs up! Okay, bye-bye! Then watch, watch your show. show! Please subscribe to our channel! Bye-bye! Hey girls, watch this! Whoa! Could be larger than